Hello and welcome on Watches TV. We are with Yup uh, for 40. Hi. Could you could you introduce you? Uh, my name is Yup. I'm the owner of Fortis. Um, I'm original from Germany and uh, live in Switzerland since many 20 years now. And I took over in 2018 the, uh, the Fortis company because it was always my favorite watch brand. I have a huge Fortis collection and I had the chance to take over. And uh, I took the chance and did this time we, we redefined the whole collection and uh, st start from a different way of thinking, producing tool watches. Okay, we are very delighted to have you for the first time in Watches TV. Uh, could you share with us your novelty, which is Novotis Amelie 24? Okay, I will show you the, the Novo now. This is one for us, it's the most important uh, collection because it's the, uh, the, the most watch, uh, the, the watch has been mo most worn in space. So that's a space history watch. Uh, we've been so, uh, official supplier of cosmonauts and astronauts for the last decades, uh, and uh, always was official supplier. It was also my first Fortis I bought in 2004. Okay. And uh, we redesigned and relaunched the collection now under a new name, because we changed the name uh, into Novonaut, because it's going more about the new astronaut of the future instead of all the past things. Um, and give them all these new construction things in uh, which uh, Space Watch really needs to be robust and uh, uh, technical from all the functions. Okay, so here it is, the novelties that you are introducing. Uh, uh, this that's, is that's the Stratoliner and yes. that's, this, that's the Novonaut. Okay, so this is really a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And talking about the other one, uh, we know that you have four collections. The Novo Notes. Yes. Can we uh, speak about the three other collections that you have yes. and their universe? Okay. So the first uh, collection we did in 2020 was the Flieger collection. Flieger. Flieger is a German word for pilot, so it's a pilot collection because Fortis has been also a very, really well known in the pilot scene as a professional pilot watch. Uh, so we relaunched this collection. There are different uh, uh, models, three hands chronographs, uh, GMT watches, titanium steel, whatever you need. Uh, and then we have also the Marine Master, which is also a historic uh, collection. Uh, was first launch was in 1953, so it's now it's the 17th birthday. Uh, so one of the oldest diving watches on the market at the end. Uh, and then we had in 2022, I think, was the Stratoliner. This was the f first watch uh, produced for the space tourist. So not for the professional astronaut, more for the business guy sitting in the back and just fly up and come back. Uh, because this is one uh, thing of the future and we have a friend, he bought a ticket and we made this collection just for his space flight. So great, idea. great story. And we know that Fortis is well known for your mechanical movements. Yeah. Can we just tell us uh, some words about it? About the movement? Yeah. So, uh, We only use chronometer certified movement, of course. Uh, we have two, uh, two strategies inside the movement. So uh, yes, we have um, f f a long time fans in the market. Um, and we still try to satisfy these fans with uh, standard movements like Celita, but also cost certified. They are um, affordable. They are easy to repair. Every watchmaker in the world can repair a Celita movement. And we have on the other side, we have more the exclusive movements uh, where we work with uh, Kennedy and with La Jouperie. And they produce manufacturing movements just for us. And do you have a crazy experience uh, experiencing just uh, your movements? Uh, yes, because we did now the first space proven chronograph movement. So space proven. Space proven. So these movements used here in the Novo Nord and Stratoliner has been tested in stratosphere. So we had a balloon flight from Sweden to uh, Finland in the stratosphere uh, uh, on a special gondola and a special casemate, and then was a three-hour flight for testing in minus 53 degrees. Uh, and then we had a test flight one year later in a rocket. So we went into space for 280 kilometers height on a rocket flight with 6,700 kmh 13 g, g uh, g-force 
uh, lots of vibration you can imagine and a lot of different temperatures. It's quite unusual in ORG. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's not normal. Uh, but we want to produce space proven watches. It does not. We don't care if it's a pilot, marine master, uh, uh, or, or what uh, a dress watch. It has to be space proof at the end because it has to survive your life. So thank you so much. Uh, now we have more uh, things that we know about for this, and we wish you a great Geneva watch days. Thank you, thank you so much.